your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. What must I do to be saved? If we were to look in Acts chapter 18 at the Corinthians when Paul came to them, have you done what they did to become children of God? Welcome to this year daily 180 Bible study. Last week we began a study looking through the book of Acts to see what people did in response to the gospel call. We saw many on the day of Pentecost, the Samaritans, the Ethiopian eunuch, and even others in Philippi who responded to the gospel in the same way that Jesus said in Mark 16, 15, and 16, by believing and being baptized, and they were saved. But do we see that same process play out in Acts chapter 18? If you open your Bible to that chapter, I want to bring a few things in mind to you. As the Apostle Paul continues through his second missionary journey, we find in verse number 4 that Paul reasoned in the synagogues every Sabbath and, note this, persuaded both Jews and Greeks. We found out last week that idea of persuasion is he helped them to believe in the gospel. But is that all the text tells us the Corinthians did to become children of God? If you notice later in the text, I want you to note in verse number 3, Paul entered into a certain house of a man named Justice who worshipped God, whose house was next door to the synagogue. And Crispus, the ruler of the synagogue, note this, believed on the Lord with all his household and many of the Corinthians, note this, they akuo, hearing, pestis, believed, and were baptizo, immersed or baptized for the remission of sins. Did you know the Corinthians heard the gospel, they believed the gospel, and they were baptized in response to the gospel? If we were to connect that with Mark 16, 15 and 16, Paul clearly preached the gospel unto the Corinthians. So how did they respond? They that believed and were baptized were saved. Even Paul would say in the beginning of 1 Corinthians that he had baptized some individuals, but baptism by itself is not the fullness of the gospel. The gospel as prescribed by Jesus is he that believeth in the gospel and is baptized shall be saved. Have you been saved that way? Join us again for your daily 180.